this video we're going to prove two corollaries. The first one states that if G is a finite group and A is any element in the group G, then the order of A divides the order of G. The second corollary goes on to say that if G is a finite group, and once again, A is an arbitrary element in the group, then A raised to the order of the group, and this is for any A in the group, will give you back E. If you like watching mathematical proofs, you should seriously consider subscribing to my channel as this is what we do on this channel. We prove corollaries and theorems and lemmas. Again, if that's what you're into, you should seriously consider this channel. Okay. Now, if I can find a subgroup who has the same order as A, then we got it. Then we got it. Because the order of that group must divide the order of G. That's exactly what the Lagrange theorem states. So what I'm going to say is consider the set generated by A, which is A to the 0, A to the 1, A to the 2, and so on. So you can ask, what is the order of the set generated by A? Okay. I claim that the order of the set generated by the element A is the order of a. And if you think about computing a to the order of a, well, by definition, that's e. Okay. Can, can, uh, say, can m less than the order of A be such that A to the M is equal to E. Okay. Well, that would imply that there exist I and J in the integers, say the positive integers, such that I and J are both in between 0 and, say, the order of A. And let's even say that I is less than J. Just to basically say that they're different. Okay, now a to the i, okay, where a to the i equals a to the j. But what does that imply? Let's see, j is bigger. That implies e is equal to a to the j minus i where j minus i is less than the order of a. But that's the contradiction. The order of a is supposed to be the smallest element that we raise a to to get a. So the order of the set generated by a really does equal to the order of a. Okay. Well, the order of A, which happens, okay, let me just say one thing first. The, the set, the 
this set. The generator of A is a subgroup of G. So by Lagrange's theorem, we have that the order of this set generated by A being a subgroup must divide the order of G. But it turns out that the order of that subgroup is the order of A. That is, the order of A does divide the order of the group. And that finishes proof for part one. The proof of number two. Number two says that if G is a finite group and A is in the group, then A to the order of G must equal E. Okay, so let's see. The order of A, sorry, A raised, A raised, to the order of G must equal E. Well, we just shown, we've just shown that the order of A divides the order of G. But that means that the order of G is some multiple of the order of A. But that implies that A raised to the order of G, which is A raised to M times the order of A, which is the same as A raised to the order of A to the M. Well, that's E. Raised to the M is E. So, yep. A raised to the order of the group will always give you E. Of course, the group has to be finite. And that completes the proof of the second corollary. Once again, if you're into watching mathematical proofs like this, subscribe to my channel. Please click the like button. Tell your friends and family about my channel. Definitely leave a comment. I hope you guys come and view my next video. Please watch and learn.